Hello and good morning. Today I'm going to share with you how to use the SPSS. Okay, before we begin, uh, so this is the overview of the statistical package known as SPSS. They've got here a normal tab that consists of uh, following function file for you to open the file, open the database, read the data, um, and the most important is if you are going to analyze the data, you can already visit to this link to measure the data that already um, analyzed before and you want to make a follow up. Under the edit, uh, view, data, transform, analyze, direct marketing, graph, utilities, and on Windows and help. Okay, so first of all, the SPSS consists of two important tabs here. If you see down here, the first one we call it as a variable view and then the most uh, important one is the data view before you begin in any analysis you need to set up your variables for example you want to um, obtain the information of the respondent in this case we call it as a age so age is a variables so this is the example so if you want to write anything um, regarding to the variable you can just put any name here except for spacebar you cannot uh, enter the spacebar otherwise it will encounter some error okay so how do you want to delete this uh, row you can just highlight here and then right click and then you need to enter clear button so it will clear for you okay so um, before we begin it's much more better for us to understand how to enter the data by looking into a set of uh, question and Otherwise, you cannot see uh, the the action taken for this particular exercise. Okay, let us look into a selected question and then I prepare for you. Okay, so I have a question A here. So this is the example of a question A. So this question A or this study is actually a social science study to investigate the relationship between the uh, demographic factors among the armed forces with the spiritual strength okay so you can uh, have this kind of um, example for this particular uh, question uh, in the description below you can just go to my website and then download accordingly so this is the example we got the five like a scale we got here is very agree agree uh, sorry strongly agree agree um, disagree strongly disagree very not agree so this is the example of the Likert scale so usually the third one will be the neutral where we um, decided not to say anything so i just made some adjustment here to make you understand about the analysis um, after this so we got 30 items so these 30 items consist of five different constructs which is um, i'm going to discuss it later on after we are going to run the factorial analysis and so on <coughs> so based on this we are going to develop a questionnaire uh, so based on this we are going to enter all the data into our spss package so how to do that so the first one we have to identify the variables so usually in my experience we are going to say that this one as the part a and then the second one is the part b so the part b is um, where we collect the samples lah. so this is the part b spiritual strength okay so we got part a and part b so in the part a we got um a1 a2 a3 a4 and then in the A4, we got A4, um, A4, this one is A41, A42, and then we got uh, A5, and then we got here is um, A6, and then A7. So based on these um, variables, we are going to set in our SPSS package. So after that, we can know. Um, how to enter the data so let us uh, put accordingly the spss package with these variables okay so the first one we are going to enter the name of the variable so this one i prefer to put as a a1 okay and then automatically this type is appear and then you must understand uh, this type is actually mm, represent the type 
of your data. So in this case, they got a few data set here, memory, comma, dot, scientific notation, and so on. So as default, the computer are going to recognize it as numeric. But before we know whether it's numeric or not, we need to understand about the scale of measurement. That scale of measurement is already being discussed in my website. So you can refer that and then have some clear overview. So A1 is the gender. So we are going to spell out the name of variable clearly here as gender. And then we are going to set the values. As you know, this is the nominal scale. So in this case, I'm going to put here as male and female. So we are going to assign a value. One is for male, and then number two is for female. Okay, and then uh, this is the missing item. So if you've got any missing item, you can just set your missing item. In this case, I'm not going to show you that one. That one will be covered later on. If you want to know more, you can ask me. Okay, this one is the measure. So as you know, this one is a nominal scale because it's a categorical group. It's either you are male or you are female. So we are done with the um, variable one. What about the number two? Also the same, E2. So our E2 is the age, less than 21, 21 to 40, more than 40 years old. So this one we are going to spell it out as age. And then we are going to assign the level less than 20. Um, number two is 21 until 40. And then number three is more than 40. So this is the example of our data set. So this is the nominal scale also. So after you setting up all these things, you can enter the data accordingly. Uh, based on your respondent answers. For example, the first respondent indicate that they are male. You must write here uh, number one, okay? Don't write male because you already set the male as the number one. And then uh, this male is actually age 21 until 40. So if you get confused and then this number, uh, this uh, characteristics not appear, you can just put here as a change um, values so they are going to put some values here one and two so that it's help you to um, further focus on the analysis so in a later part of this video i'm going to share with you how you can enter the data easily using the google drive like this i'm going to give you some example so this is the example of that particular questionnaire so the persons are going to go to this questionnaire and then enter accordingly so after they enter accordingly their responses they are easily manageable exported and then can be pasted out inside this uh, set of questionnaire inside this template of uh, SPSS. Uh, so if you want to know more so wait and then we are going to uh, give you some hint on uh, that basis okay so please uh, complete this kind of um, section first before you begin with the uh, second part of this tutorial. So remember, this one is A1, A2, A3, A4, and then this one is A41, A42, A5, uh, this one is A6 and A7. Okay, you try this one first and then if you got any problems, so let us know and um, seeing you in the next uh, videos. Thank you.